This is Neurodia fasciata, the banded water snake. It's a non-venomous colubrid, semi-aquatic, meaning it spends a lot of its time in the water. Oh my gosh, she's a beautiful one. No, 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 don't you bite me. And uh, the primary diet consists of small fish, frogs, uh, even little turtles. If they can get their, their mouse on, on a rodent around the water. Oh. The, the issue with this species is a lot of people mistake it for a water moccasin. Now anybody who's familiar with the species knows this actually looks nothing like a, like a cotton mouth. But people often don't know any better. They confuse it for a water moccasin and will tend to kill them. So there are a few telltale signs to know if you have a water snake. And if you look at its eyes, you can see that they have round pupils, while a cottonmouth tends to have pupils that look more like that of a cat. Oh, she's trying to spin around. Ooh, don't you bite me. Also, when they're in the water, a water snake will tend to have all of its body submerged and just its head poking out from on top of the water. While if you have a cottonmouth, it actually stays on top of the water with the entirety of its body. So if you find any of these, don't... I mean, I don't condone the killing of any snake, but... If you're out there trying to kill a venomous snake, this is certainly not one of them. Now, I don't recommend handling them because they can be a little bit aggressive. Uh, they, they'll tend to flatten out their head like a, kind of like a cobra right before they strike. She was doing that earlier. She was striking a lot at me. But right now, she's, she's calmed down quite a bit. Oh, what a beautiful snake. I'm going to let this beautiful snake go back and get even fatter. What a find. Thanks for joining me. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Salmon Planet adventures.